Uh, today I start riding Baja California. I'm the little town uh, Escondido in, uh, in the United States uh, side yet. Uh, after around 100 kilometers I will get to the border crossing at the town Tecate. Uh, there are actually several border crossings but this one I heard is quite easy, simple, and uh, quiet road. So uh, I really hope that it will not take me long to cross the border and uh, the plan for the day is to stop at Ensenada uh, in Baja California to spend the night there and tomorrow continue. And uh, I can say that I'm very excited to start riding this stretch of the road. <laughs> Time to go! Everybody was super friendly and uh, very helpful. <laughs> so um, this is just the, the modern town Tecate. Uh, I really wanted to go to Ensenada, but I think that I don't have enough time uh, because it's getting dark soon, and for me it's very difficult to ride at night. So I think I will find some hotel, some posada here in Tecate, and I will continue tomorrow. yesterday to, to Mexico to the town uh, Tecate and uh, that's where I will start my Baja ride from. Um, I'm quite uh, excited to, to come back to Mexico even though I've never been to this part of it but um, I like the country in general, I like people. I spent uh, the night here in this hotel. simple but uh, nice and uh, clean and uh, quite cheap well <laughs> compared to the prices in the United States and um, uh, today I will try to, to get to San Felipe
So I'm in San Felipe today, uh, Baja California. Uh, I arrived yesterday and uh, I decided to stay one more day to enjoy uh, the beach, the ocean, and just one day of rest. It's uh, a little bit cold and people say that it's, uh, it's kind of unusual for this part of the world, but because of the rains, like heavy rains before, so it feels colder. <laughs> especially during the night. about this town um, not much probably I spent here just one day I wanted to chill and just to spend the time at the seaside and um, just to relax um, maybe that's the season but uh, it looked very quiet to me there are some tourists but it's not kind of overcrowded so it feels uh, really cool Buenos días. Buenos días. ¿Cómo está usted? Muy bien. ¿Ya descansó a gusto? Sí. Ahora ¿Qué? tengo que ir. Ahora, ahora vas a caminar. Sí. ¿Usted sabe cómo es uh, el camino hasta Cocos Corner? Mm. Es por uh, eh, Ruta 5. Eh, la Ruta 5. Está bueno. Está, está bueno. bueno. Eh, no más que hay unas, hay unas desviaciones porque están arreglando puentes. Ah, solo por puentes. Sí, por puentes, pero está bueno este ah, la carretera sí. hasta que sales a Chapala. Um, I checked some information about the road and um, it's uh, it's really controversial. <laughs> some people say that it's very difficult. Some people say that there are just a few detours near the bridges. But well, let's see. The only way to know is to go and see. <laughs> We are here, yeah. and you need to ride all down to San Luis Gonzaga. Uh huh. Here in this space, you're gonna find bridges, bridges, construction. You have to round it. So I have to take a detour. Yeah. Yeah, R round the bridge. Yeah. Because are they are in construction. Okay. Okay. And then you're gonna find Chapala. Chapala, Chapala makes the union with the. Road number one, number to one, La Paz in okay. San Lucas. Okay. Okay. This part is the worst, but the, yeah. many people say it's better and it's good to ride like that car. Ah. It's not too tall, so your bike can so go. So it's okay. Yeah. It's okay. So that was San Felipe, and uh, it's a uh, it's a nice little town, and uh, I was uh, I enjoyed I enjoyed my time here. And um, now it's time to to go to go to the south.
so um, I arrived to uh, the valley of giants. I don't know, according to, to this guy, uh, there are like huge cactuses. He says that it's just uh, five minutes uh, ride and um, the road is just, just like this. So let's see. <laughs> So uh, I made a detour and uh, I asked the guard uh, what is it here and he told me that it's just a huge place with uh, giant cactuses and uh, yeah, I decided to check it out and I'm really happy that I did. And also the good thing is that there is nobody here. <laughs> the solitude, tranquility and huge cactus.
right way is this Valley of the Giants. I think it's a really worthwhile place to, 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 to visit, to see. Uh, huge cactuses, amazing, really amazing.
because uh, the wind was really strong and uh, I was so stressed. I was standing at one spot and just holding the bike for more than an hour, really. And uh, I didn't know what to do and I, then finally I realized that I had to go back. It was just 15 kilometers and uh, the wind was blowing actually it, uh, <laughs> at my back if I was going back to Portocito. So here I am, that's a nice uh, camp spot and uh, let's put up this tent. and it's not a steady, they're coming, they go, there's not really people that live and actually stay here, we are only like 20 people. Hey. So that's it, 
Hola, vos Soshi. Hola. Wonderful lady from Puertecitos. Puertecitos. We met just yesterday and I ended up here accidentally, but I'm so happy. I met nice people and nice town, hot springs. I went there last, yeah. last night. Awesome. That was amazing. It was the moon and, you know, Relaxing. the stars. Yeah. <laughs> like, totally sent. Yeah, yeah, that was cool. Definitely. And you're so positive. And you. uh, the things that you told me yesterday, they were really inspiring. Thank you. You're inspiring. You're cool. No, also, no, no. badass. So <laughs> you, your plan is to to ride from Canada to Barbados. Yeah, to ride. Wow. Like that will be like five to six years from now. Five first, I want years. to ride my bike around Barça. Mm -hmm. First, but first, gotta build those legs and those lungs. Uh, oh, first, you'll make it. <laughs> A lot of training to do. Okay. A lot of See you Bye. somewhere. So that was Barbados and. Uh, um, I stopped here yesterday because of the wind situation <laughs> and I met this nice lady and uh, I experienced that hot springs uh, and that was, that was really cool and now I'm on the way down south. <laughs> Used to be home, passing by those little towns I know so well. Stopping for gas, and then I'm behind the wheel again. Driving this like a spiritual cleanse, where every mile is a new beginning, and every friend holds a new end. 